tutorial is for fourth grade, module four, lesson 13. In this lesson, we're going to classify triangles by looking at the lengths of their sides and the measurement of their angles. In my chart, I have a triangle, and I first need to classify it by looking at the side lengths. I have three choices here. I could say it's an equilateral. That would mean it has three equal sides. An isosceles triangle would have two equal sides. And a scalene triangle would have no equal sides. If I look at the triangle for triangle A, it has two little hash marks on two of the sides. That means that these two sides are the same length. If I have a triangle that has two equal sides, it is called an isosceles triangle. Now I'll look at the angle measurements. If all three angles on the triangle are acute, we call it an acute triangle. If we have one right angle and two acute angles, it's considered a right triangle. And if we have one obtuse angle and two acute angles, it's considered an obtuse triangle. If I look back at triangle A, I can see that there is an obtuse angle right here. This angle is opened up wider than a right angle. And the other two angles are acute. So I will circle obtuse. This is an obtuse triangle. And it's also an isosceles triangle. Moving on to triangle B, it has three hash marks that match each other. That means all three sides of the triangle are the same length. That makes it an equilateral triangle. And looking at the me angle measurements, all three angles are acute angles. They're all smaller than 90 degrees. That makes it an acute triangle. So triangle B is an e equilateral acute triangle. If I look at triangle C, none of the sides have matching hash marks on it. That means that none of the sides are equal. So this is a scalene triangle. Looking at the angle measurements, I see a right angle in the corner here, and then the other two angles are acute. That means that it is a right triangle. So triangle C is a scalene right triangle. And my last triangle, again, does not have any matching hash marks on the sides, so it is also a scalene triangle. And if I look at the angle measurements, I see an obtuse angle right here. It's opened up wider than a 90 degree angle and two acute angles. So that makes that an obtuse triangle. In the next section, I have a couple of questions to answer about various triangles. The first one says triangle ABC has one line of symmetry as shown. What does that tell you about the measures of angle A and angle C? So you can see in triangle ABC that a line of symmetry has been drawn down the center. That means when I fold this shape over, both sides match exactly, which also means that angle A is the same measurement of a as angle C. So we'll say angle A is equal to angle C. The next question says triangle DEF has three lines of symmetry as shown. Triangle DEF has a perimeter of 30 centimeters. We are to label the side lengths. So since each of these lines is a line of symmetry, it means that it has cut the triangle in half each time. So this measurement is the same as this measurement. So I'm going to put a hash mark here telling you that those two sides are equal. It also means that with this line of symmetry, that this side is also equal to this side. And if I look at this line of symmetry, that means this side is equal to this side. Looking at this other diagonal line of symmetry, that means this side is equal to this side. Altogether, we have three sides, all are equal in length. If the perimeter is 30 centimeters, I know that each measurement has to be the same for each side and I just need to divide 30 by 3. That means each side would be 10 centimeters long. And those lines of symmetry help prove that. In the next section, we're going to connect points on this grid 
to create two other triangles or to use each point only once and our triangles cannot overlap, some of the points will not be used. And then we're going to go below and name and classify the triangles that we create. Now there are different ways that you could draw triangles on this grid. I'm going to just show two different triangles that you could draw using points on the grid. For example, if I connect point A to point B and then over to point D and then connect A and D, I have a triangle. And if I connect E to point G and G to point I, and then connect point E and I, I have another triangle. Now obviously my lines aren't very straight, so if we we're working on paper, we would want to use a straight edge to draw our lines. In the next step, we're going to name our triangles and classify them by their side length and their angle measurement. The first triangle I drew is triangle A, B, D. So those are the three points that I used for that triangle. If I look at the side length, you can see that none of the sides have the same length. So we will call this a scalene triangle. Looking at their angles, I know that I created a 90 degree angle where angle B is. So that means this triangle is a right triangle. The next triangle I drew was triangle E, G, I. And looking at its side lengths, I can see that none of them are equal. So this is also scaling. And looking at the angle measurements, angle G is an obtuse angle. The other two angles are acute. So this would be considered an obtuse triangle. So triangle EGI is scaling and obtuse. My last question asks, can a triangle have two right angles? And we're to use a drawing to explain. Well, remember some things about a triangle. It has to have three sides and it has to have three angles. Well, if I started off drawing a right angle for my triangle, there would be two of my sides. If I wanted to have two right angles, I'd have to make the other right angle over here with my third side. Obviously, those two sides don't meet. They don't form a triangle because it's an open shape. It's not considered a polygon at all. So no, a triangle cannot have two right angles because the, those two sides would never meet to form a third angle.